In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul of the Celtic Orthodox Church. And this is the good news. Christ is in our midst. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel. According to St. Luke, chapter 10, verses 16 to 24. He who hears you, hears me. He who rejects you, rejects me. And he who rejects me, rejects him who sent me. Then the seventy returned with joy, saying, Lord, even the demons are subject to us in your name. And he said to them, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Behold, I give you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall be by any means hurt you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice in this, that the spirits are subject to you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. And in that hour, Jesus rejoiced in the Spirit and said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have hidden these things from the wise and prudent and revealed them to babes. Even so, Father, for so it seemed good in your sight. All things have been delivered to me by my Father, and no one knows who the Son is except the Father, and who the Father is except the Son, and the one to whom the Son wills to reveal him. Then he turned to his disciples and said privately, Blessed are the eyes which see the things you see. For I tell you that many prophets and kings have desired to see what you see and have not seen it, and to hear what you hear and have not heard it. Glory to you, O God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Help us in the understanding of your words and your teachings. Help us to be true and faithful servants of yours. In the scripture reading today, of course, we read about, I think the important part is that first verse, to remember this. He who hears you, hears me. He who rejects you, rejects me. And he who rejects me, rejects him who sent me, God the Father. He who rejects the Son, Jesus, rejects God the Father too, for he sent Jesus to save us all. We read in this reading today how the 70 returned to Jesus rejoicing because of what they were able to do and how the demons were subject to him. Yes, that's important. They were happy about this, but there's more to it than just that. The 70 disciples that Jesus sent out ahead of him were preparing the way and even today, we are preparing the way again for Christ's second coming, calling on people to rejoice in the Lord always. But also more important, because the way the world is at this moment, and has been for a long time, rejecting God. Rejecting the teachings of Jesus Christ. Jesus came to call on us all to repent of our evil ways. 
so many people have left the church, turned their backs on God and followed the world in its darkness. Satan has turned so many people away, attracting them to the darkness of the world instead of following the light, which is Jesus Christ. We reject Jesus Christ and his teachings. We reject God, for they are one and the same. Yes, Jesus Christ became incarnate, became man, gave himself all totally to us to save us from Satan. We must remember this. Never forget it. Turn away from the world and its darkness. Return to the light of Jesus Christ. This is the important message. Yesterday, today and tomorrow. Some people say we are in the our end times. That's possible. We are not in good times. Why? You see the wars that are happening in the world, the death, destruction. It all points to it, doesn't it? Sadly, we've had wars before. Those of this generation don't know what it was like in the, what they called the Great War, World War I, the turn of the 20th century. And then later on, not that long later, we had World War II. And at the moment we are on the pinnacle of having World War Three. Yes. Satan is having his way. And sadly, even in the church, he's influenced many people in the church too, dividing the church. We must not allow this to happen. Yes. I urge you all to stop for a while and think what Satan is doing to us all, turning us from Jesus Christ, turning us from God the Father. So many people have given up going to church. The world's and its influence is so strong. We don't have to go far to see it. You can see it on the TV every day. Yes. Satan is having his way. We must stop this now. We must turn back to Jesus Christ. Turn back God to God. We have the Holy Spirit there to help us make the most of this. Hand yourself over to the Holy Spirit to help you, to guide you. Repent every day for those times that you fall down. Get back up, repent and continue on this journey. It may be the last days, only God knows. But we know it should not give up the battle. So many people do. We must fight, 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 continually fight against Satan and his dark world. Turn back to Jesus Christ. 
Go back to church. Start following Christ again and not the world in its darkened influences. And every day, pray. Read the scriptures and give God the glory for every opportunity you have. Give God the glory. Glory to God for all things. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. 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 Most Holy Theotokos, Save us. Amen.